Well, um, I was in Sheffield at the time, and um, I think what happened really is, in retrospect, that I walked, I was studying in Sheffield landscape architecture, and I walked past a sort of this bookshop which where they sold incense and all sorts of things. And I sort of walked back again because I saw this picture on the door and it was of a lady with uh, long hair. And I just sort of read what was underneath. To this day I can't remember what it was, but I saw the picture I thought... And then I just walked on. I forgot all about it. But before that, um, I would never be someone who was looking, you know, uh, reading anything that I sort of was unusual or doing anything like that. And I mean, I come from a very sort of Christian background and everything. And, um, but after, I think after that incident of seeing Mother's Picture, which it, it was, that I started reading things and, and allowing myself to sort of seek. And even to sort of go back and read the Bible as though I was just sort of reading it. Um, for my own sake rather than sort of anything else. And then I came across a book um, which was by Gurdjieff, who's someone I, you know, never heard of or didn't know anything about, but inside it it said, you know, you need a guru somewhere. Like that. So I thought, oh my God, yes, I need a guru. That's why I need a guru. <laughs> and um, so I was looking and I started going back to church because I stopped doing that, uh, going to the Baha'is because my brother was trying that. And um, finally, somebody in the house that I was living in said, oh, we've gone to this thing. You know, you'd be good at that. You're looking around, you're asking questions, you've come to this. So we went to this um, uh, public, well, just a program in Sheffield. Uh, Ray Harris was talking, and he was talking about evolution and everything. I thought, oh, this is interesting. Then they put this tape of Mother on, and Mother started talking about, oh, you know, and God made this beautiful world, and he just put rivers here and trees there, and and um, mountains here just to make it, it beautiful. And I thought, hmm, that was interesting because I was studying landscape architecture and trying to design things and everything. I thought, well, that sounds, that sounds good. And um, when I, then I was worked on, um, I think it was John Glover and um, um, <coughs> uh, Graham's, Graham's wife, Gail, Gail Pottinger, and they worked on me. and. and um, asking me, what you, what you feeling, what are you feeling? Are you feeling the cool breeze on your hands or on your head? And I couldn't feel anything out of the top of my head. And then I started to cry, you know, because I was, I was in an emotional place at that time. And, um, and then they said, but can you feel anything else? I said, yes, I can feel this cool coming down on my knees. Oh, so, oh they, that's good, that's good, they said, <laughs> so I felt good. Um, and then, um, uh, you know, I went, went home and, oh yes, and they asked me, um, Oh, oh, why do you think we're here? Ray said, oh yes, why do you think we're here? <laughs> I said, we're here to enjoy, because strangely enough, uh, before I'd come to the program, um, I had been sitting sort of under a tree somewhere, sort of thinking, why are we here? And this thought had come into my head, you know, from somewhere, we're here to enjoy. And I was so not enjoying myself at that time, I thought, this is very strange, you know. <laughs> and then Ray asked me, and he said, yes, 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 that's what we're here, we're here to enjoy. Uh, but and there was mother's photograph and it was a puja photo actually at the meeting and I kept saying to um, John Glover, yes, but who is this lady? Because I felt that coming from Christian background, an icon is not a, you know, it's a photo and you're all sort of saying, who is this lady? Okay, so I kept wanting to know who is this lady. Um, and eventually, I mean, in a few months' time, I think it was in the summer that I came to the program in Sheffield. I think it was maybe three months or two months later, uh, we all went down to a puja in Chelsham Road and Mother was there sitting um, next to the fireplace and I was sort of almost in, at the back and it was, you know, I was sort of sitting like this and there were a million people around it, it was very tight, and just looking at Mother and saying, Mother, who are you? Who, you know, who are you? And um, coming back um, home and sort of looking at Mother's photograph again and thinking, well, um, I know who you are. And then going again to the next puja, we went down to the next puja, and um, again, you know, mother's uh, first. The first puja I went to to mother's feet when she asked for new people to come. She said, "What are you doing? You know, what are you doing? Your liver's so bad." I said, "Architecture or landscape architecture," and she told us to say, "You know, um, mother, 
you're the architect of all architects. You know, you say that three times and suddenly you feel it's all sort of cleared out. And after the second puja, I sort of asked her about uh, the Baha'is, um, and she said, well, you know, they do um, drink and smoke. And I thought, hmm, that's an interesting answer. <laughs> and I knew that because my brother couldn't give up smoking. He was a Baha'i. And then coming back from that puja, then I just felt, well, I just love you. And that was really, that was really it, it for me. And I think later on then I went to a meeting at somebody's house and Mrs. Harris, Ray's mum was there, bless her. And, uh, and there was this big photo of mother with the blue sh um, sari. And um, they, uh, people were asking, oh, well, people were talking about Srimataji. And Mrs. Harris just sat there, she said, well, you know that they do say she might be the Virgin Mary. Mm -hmm. And I sort of thought, yes, I sort of took this on board and sort of thought, yes, this, this, you are, wow, this, this is a possibility. <laughs> and I think just, that was it really. Yeah.